As I got close to my destination, this flight really gave me a panoramic view of the surrounding areas of the town Lalibela. I got to see the great East African Rift Valley on the way as well, and it was amazing. Also, this time I took my parents traveling with me. After we got there, the people of Lalibela were so calm and peaceful. I suddenly knew that this would be my favorite place in the world, especially as an Orthodox believer. One of the most popular churches named Bita Georgis had of course a magnificent architecture that kept me mesmerized during my entire visit. I also went around Christmas so there was a lot of tourists and I was able to capture great pictures of the place and the people and um, I felt so alive. Lalibela is one of the most important and holy cities in all of Ethiopia for followers of the Ethiopian Orthodox Church. Under the control of King Lalibela, the goal was to turn the small town into a second Jerusalem. And after seeing this place and its people, it is the second Jerusalem. Building rock churches and setting his holy city up in the same design and layout as of Jerusalem, the king aimed to make his capital city a spiritual homeland. And what I said exactly is how you'll find it when you visit. It is a spiritual city. Everyone is 100% orthodox and most have given their lives to God and it's just so calming to see and reflect in the world, especially with everything that's currently going on. When people say Lalibela, a lot of people think of the 11 Rakhine churches. However, from the surrounding hills of Debre Ruha, there are monasteries situated at 3,000 to 4,000 meters high on top of a mountain. So the next morning, we decided to visit the one with the hardest hike. It took us about two hours to climb from Lalibela, and we finally reached the church called Ashet Ten Mariam. It's carved out of a mountain into a cliff face and um, the last king of the Zagoi dynasty was said to be buried here. Ashitan in English means to smell or the founder sort of smelled it and found the place. The church treasures old books, icons and crosses and it's believed that this is the first work of King Lalibela before all the 11 Rakhine churches. The view was amazing, I met so many good people, and the pictures also turned out to be perfect, so it was quite a good memory. Before calling it a day, my parents and I decided to have some local touch and some laughter. We also went shopping for a souvenir and um, that was it. That was a three day Lalibela trip and it was amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I recommend everyone to visit this place.